Now, according to Afghan officials, opium poppy cultivation in Helmand province may have dropped by 15% this year. The success is put down to programmes that introduce farmers to alternative sources of income like fruit growing and fish farming. Over the next two nights, we'll be looking at agricultural initiatives that ISAF has helped to foster in Goreshk. Tonight, Rob Olver visits a beekeeping project. The Goreshk Agricultural College seems a tranquil oasis in an otherwise bustling town. And it's here that farmers and smallholders from the area have come to study beekeeping. They've been invited by Goreshk's agricultural director, a man who calls himself only Abdullah and who also keeps bees. Abdullah tells me that local honey used in tea and also as a remedy will be popular, but that until now it's been impossible to find in Goreshk. He says that at the moment people can only buy honey from Jalalabad and that's loaded with sugar. The beekeeping project is one of several farming ventures paid for by the British and American governments as alternatives to opium poppy farming. Well, it's estimated that growing poppy in Helmand makes you around about $450 a year. Something like beekeeping, they say, will earn you around $200 a year. But combine that with other things like fruit growing and fish farming, and you could be making more than the poppy growers. There are now 17 beehives at Goreshk's Agricultural College. The aim is to increase them to 75 and start a cooperative to sell honey. But in a province that's largely desert, where will bees from another part of the country find pollen? They have a lot of pomegranate trees here. Uh, they also have a lot of flowers, uh, a lot of bushes that have flowers. So it's uh, the, the way that the bees are going to work is, is, is many fold actually. Um, the way of making money from bees is actually splitting the hives and replicating hives and then selling the swarms that you then produce. Secondly, you're going to increase, you, increase your fruit um, crop by about 40%. And that in itself would produce more pollen for the honeybees. But beekeeping is not an idea that everyone supports. The insurgents have threatened our cooperative leaders uh, that if they come to education with regards to improving the village uh, cooperative, their lives will be threatened. Um, these are very brave men that come and, and uh, take this opportunity to learn about new, new teaching. The degree of risk Goreshk's potential beekeepers are taking cannot be underestimated. But many seem willing to give it a try and if all goes to plan, they could be producing their own honey within a year. Rob Olver, Forces News, Goreshk.